flame test. Experiment 4 Objective To identify the metal in a given unknown substance, a sodium or potassium salt or a calcium compound by using flame test. Materials required A platinum wire one end fused in a glass rod Watch glass Pencil Bunsen burner Blue glass Concentrated hydrochloric acid and given unknown substance a sodium or potassium salt or a calcium compound. Procedure 1. Firstly, make a circular loop at one end of the platinum wire by winding it around the end of a pencil or any cylindrical object. 2. Clean the loop by dipping it into concentrated hydrochloric acid and heating it in a non-luminous flame. 3. Repeat step 2 until the wire imparts no color to the flame. 4. Put 2 to 3 drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid on a clean watch glass and make the paste of a small quantity of the salt in it. 5. Dip the clean circular loop of the platinum wire in this paste such that a small amount of paste sticks on the circular loop of platinum wire. Introduce the loop in the non-luminous oxidizing flame. 6. Observe the color of the flame first with the naked eye and then through a blue glass. 7. Repeat the above steps for all the unknown substances and record your observation. Observations Color of the flame observed by naked eye. Color of the flame observed through blue glass. Inference. Golden yellow. Invisible. Sodium. Na+. Lilac. Pale violet. Pink. Potassium. K+. Brick red. Light green. Calcium. Ca2+. Result. By performing the flame test, metallic ions present in the given unknown substances have been identified. Precautions 1. Always clean the platinum wire with concentrated HCl before and after performing the flame test. 2. Only pure concentrated hydrochloric acid HCl should be used for cleaning the platinum wire and for preparing a paste of the salt. 3. While cleaning the platinum wire, never dip it in the bottle containing concentrated hydrochloric acid, HCl. Always take a little of the acid in a clean test tube or a watch glass. 4. Concentrated HCl used for cleaning the platinum wire should not be used for making the paste of the salt. 5. Never use a glass rod for performing the flame test. Glass contains sodium silicate as one of the constituents and hence will always impart a golden yellow color to the flame. 6. Never sprinkle the salt powder into the flame as the Bunsen burner gets spoiled in that case and the color is often not imparted to the flame.